This is Ian, founder of In 30 Minutes Guides. Today, how to edit fillable PDF form fonts using Adobe Acrobat Pro. If this video helps, please subscribe and like the video. Let's get started. Here is the issue that I have. I have a fillable form that I created in Adobe Acrobat Pro, and you can see the fonts don't look quite right. Uh, some, of the, some of the fonts that you type into in the form, this one looks too small. The other thing is, is that the text here, it looks like it's the same tech, the same font style as the uh, text in the disclaimer itself. And what I want to do is I want to change this to a font that stands out a little bit, looks different than the text up here. So I'm going to be changing the font style and I'm going to be changing the font size. Here's how to do it. So I'm going to close out this one and I'm going to go back to the original one that I was using to uh, basically create this particular um, this particular form. So it's called Waiver 2019 Fillable Draft 1. I'm just going to create a different version of that and call it New Fonts, just so I have a reference for it. I'm going to make sure that I open it up in Adobe Acrobat Pro. I'm going to right click over the file name. This is the same as if you're in Windows or Mac and then open Adobe Acrobat. One thing to note, you need Adobe Acrobat Pro to do what I'm about to show you. If you have just the ordinary free version of Adobe Acrobat, you won't be able to make any changes to the fillable forms or even create a fillable form. So you need Adobe Acrobat Pro. It's a, a subs subscription uh, tool. If you go to the Adobe website and search for this Adobe Acrobat Pro, you should see a screen that looks like this. You can just use a start a free trial if you want to try it out. I think it's seven or 14 days or something, but it's a pretty powerful tool. So I've opened up the PDF. Let's zoom in a little bit. And what I'm going to do is select prepare a form. So the form has already been created. And you can see when I hover over these things, the, uh, the, bo the, the boxes appear where you can type, type the text. And one thing I want to do maybe is to, let's move this over a little bit so we can see what we're doing here. These are the names of the individual fields. You can see if I click them on the right here, each one is selected. Now what I could do is I could go through and I could um, kind of change everything one by one. So let's say uh, uh, the, events, the event site, let's say I wanted to change the font for this. So I'm going to right click over it, select properties, and then under the appearance tab, you can see it says Helvetica 12. So if I wanted to change this to a new font, let's say to um, Times Roman 12, I could do that. But the problem that comes up is oftentimes you have lots of form fields and you want to change them all at once. So the easy, the much better thing to do is just to select all of them at once and then right click over it, properties. And then basically, you can see under appearance, there's many changes. I can, it says uh, font size varies, font varies. Uh, basically, I can edit them all. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, one very important thing with, when you're dealing with the fonts, Adobe gives you a million, not a million, they probably give you a couple hundred different fonts that you can use. And the issue is, if you select a font that's special, oftentimes other people, when they open up the form, on their own computer or device, they won't be able to, to, to see it because it's not in, the font is not installed on their system. There's some things you can do to kind of trick Adobe into kind of adding the font to the, uh, to, to the PDF. I'm not going to go into that here. Instead, I'm just going to choose like a reliable font, like Times New Roman. Everybody has that on their computer. So I'm going to select Times New Roman. I'm not going to select something like Wawati TC or Topon Bunku Gothic Regular. There's no way that most of the people that if I emailed this to them, there's no way that they'd be able to, to see the see the special font. So I'm going to do Times New Roman Standard for font size. I'm going to change it to 12. So that means all of the different uh, fonts, all the different fields, they'll have the same exact font size and font style. Click Close. And then I'm going to save it. I'm going to close out of it. And then what I'm going to do, this is the one that I just created. I'm going to duplicate it again. And I call it new fonts test. Let's call it test three because I've already been doing tests earlier in the day. And now I'm going to open it up in Adobe Acrobat again and give it a give it a spin. Let's zoom in so we can see what we're doing. So remember, the text used to be Helvetica. Now it's something different. Now it's, yep, that looks good. Ian Smith. Let's call this Timmy Smith for the date, October 1, 2024. October 1, 2024. Okay, an event site. 
I can also type that, like say, Scout Reservation. And you can see that the font is a different style. This is uh, Times New Roman. Everybody has that on their computer, so it looks good. If this video helped, please take a moment to like it and subscribe. I have links to more resources in the description, and thank you so much for watching.